What's going on guys? Today we're going to look at a way to make a cheap redneck battery charger, battery box, whatever you want to call it for your trail cams. We have the Tacticam uh, reveal right here. You could use the Tacticams, you can use Wild Game Innovations, really the mold trees, whichever camera you want to use, they have an adapter that'll work. It's super easy, it's what you need. You've got the Walmart receipt right here, I'm going to show you. Go grab you one of these boxes right here. Just a, um, um, it's a little small battery style box. This is an Ozark Trail. This one right here was in the marine sections why it's blue. Uh, but this right here was $4.94 here in North Louisiana. Um, you grab you, uh, you gotta grab you one of these 12 volt batteries if your system is 12 volt, which the Tacticams are. And that's, this right here was probably the most expensive thing at uh, $8.98 and um, you need to get you some Velcro, which I'll show you that. You buy a big bag of it like this right here. This is like four bucks, but you're only going to need uh, probably just a few of these. Um, you need some uh, paint. Um, what's a paint can? A couple bucks, not real sure. I've had this laying around. Go out in your shop and a lot of you guys have got black, gray, just any kind of color just to paint this blue. If it comes black, you're good to go or green. You don't have to worry about painting it, but this one I am. And get you some uh, goop, uh, marine glue, something like that. Um, save money on a uh, o-ring if you want to make it nicer you can probably get you an o-ring or something pretty cheap on amazon um to put put in here a grommet some kind of rubber grommet for your cord all right so you can go on amazon right here these are like eight bucks i'll put all these links right down here below the video but you can get you two of these cords it's like eight bucks uh for a set of two or six dollars or something like that and that's how we're gonna hook up the battery we're gonna run the cord out and it's gonna plug directly into the camera so i'm gonna show you all that right there you need a uh, possibly a drill you don't necessarily need a drill i think i'm gonna use this uh phillips head screwdriver just to poke a hole uh the size of this cord through this box and then uh we'll run that we'll run the shoe goop we'll seal it all up and then we're gonna run this right here i'll show you guys with it plugged up to the camera so that's it i'm not gonna bore you guys let's get to work all right guys so just a minute as i said we're gonna paint up this box right here but you just open it up um, inside your box is blue i'm not gonna paint the inside of the box so it's not that big a deal but take your uh, velcro uh, put your stickies on the bottom of your battery i'm just gonna put them just kind of on the bottom a little trick uh it's probably known but if you don't know a little trick the velcros take your velcro and go ahead and stick them the velcro parts on the battery that way whenever you put it down it will just go ahead and stick in so i'm just going to put it i'm gonna put it up against the uh, uh against the back at uh, the back of the box could put it right in the middle but i don't want to put it right in the middle in case i want to put some other stuff down in it eventually so we'll kind of cram that in there just like that right there Let's see if i can show you boom just like that so we got the battery in our cord i do have two of these i got two boxes i'm gonna end up making me just to try them out um but it is a very long cord as you see right here you can probably get different lengths um and i'm going to run this cord just straight out this box right here. I'm gonna try to get it up pretty high. Let's see if we can get a hole in there. And there we go. As you see, just poked a hole in it with that screwdriver. And pull that out. See if we can get this cable in there. It ain't gonna be big enough. So I got a pretty good size drill bit right here. drill that drill in there make us a nice hole clean that up just a little bit now let's see here so we take our plug I'm gonna plug it up from the inside out push it in I'll let you know what size drill bit that was in just a minute I think it's gonna be perfect want it to be tight almost got it guys all right so we go so that was the hardest part was getting this getting this fat part of it through and there we go we're gonna feed it through 
And then we'll take these, obviously red and black. We'll go on your red and black corresponding parts of your battery. You're not gonna plug that up yet. Uh, so when we close her up, boom, there she is. So this right here is where I'm gonna put that shoe goop. I'm gonna pull out the majority of that battery. I'm gonna leave just, I mean that cord. I'm gonna leave probably uh, the length of the box, even though my plugs right here, so there's some slack in there. I don't like pulling my cord super tight. Um, so we'll go ahead and take us some shoe goop out or some uh, marine adhesive as we have here. This one has not been open. Shoe goop would have been a lot better. This is actually white marine adhesive. We're gonna cake it all around that hole. You see right there, we're getting it in there. Nice and thick all around that cord. It's on the inside, okay? Just like that. All right, so we're gonna finish this up right here. We're gonna let this dry right here. Whenever this dries, I'm probably gonna go ahead and put a coat of paint. I have got the gray. I've got some black somewhere and I can't find it. Uh, if I find it, I'll kind of maybe black and gray it up. But if not, I'm just gonna paint the outside of the box. I'm gonna spray it up. This should be dry there. Then I'll come back. We'll finish up the box and I'll show you guys uh, plugging in the camera and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see you in a minute. Yeah! Good job, buddy. <laughs> all right, guys, so there we go right here. As you see, I have it plugged in to uh, the red and the black in the cord. I had to go back and I had to add some caulk um, to that. It is painted up. Caulk is still uh, drying right here, as you see. It's not pretty. That's okay. We're not really in the business of making pretty things. We're in the business of uh, harvesting animals. So about to uh about to take this tacticam right here and we're gonna plug it up and i'll show you guys from there all right so here's the uh here's the cam and as i've showed you before there's a plug on the back i have not <laughs> plugged this up yet so uh we'll go back to find out so we're gonna push that plug up in there just like that right there we should be good to go battery in power in Power up on. Nothing. <laughs> All right, <laughs> we're back. We had some, uh, we went and got a bunch of batteries. We had a little uh, connector issues. You can see right here, there's still no batteries in the unit. Uh, none on the back. We're gonna plug it in. Flip it on. Now we got power. Unplug it, no power. Plug it back in, we got power. So, we are working, and that is the, working with the Tacticam reveal with the uh, box. My box is still a little bit wet. Um, so we'll put this up on a tree and uh, give her a test out. But we are acquiring signal right now. We are working, it is pumping through. Super cool, super easy way of making you a battery box for your uh, for your trail cams and that kind of stuff. We'll take this camera right here. We're gonna do a test run. We're just gonna strap it on this tree. See if we can capture anything tonight. I don't know if there's any deer coming in here. There's definitely other little varmints and that kind of stuff in my ducks. We can do <laughs> it's more or less my duck feeder than anything. They come over here and just eat it up. So in the woods, it's still kind of wet. Uh, in the woods, you probably cover up, cover it up with some leaves, that kind of stuff. Just kind of hide it out. You see, we are connected with our Tacticam. Flip it to the own, close her up, and we're good to go. So, we'll see what happens right here. We're going to leave this running tonight. I do not have any goop on here yet, so we'll see how that connection does. And if everything worked right, you'll have some picks. So. Anyway, that's going to be the uh, the new way I'm going to power my cams. I'm going to make a couple more of these boxes. And over the long run, it should pay itself off. So hit that comment, hit that like button right down here below, and also hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys. Let me know what you think. Have you ever done this? Do you know a better way? Uh, anything I should add, subtract, anything else, I'd appreciate it. So y'all have a good one. Thank you guys.